All right, let's play some Star Shatter. The independent system of Solus is in danger of being destroyed by civil war. The Antari Separate is seeking to join the Hegemony Prefecture of Renser, has gained control of much of the Solus Star Fleet. The Loyalist faction has requested military aid from the Torellian Alliance. A force based task force has been dispatched to break the blockade, evacuate Alliance citizens from Solus, and stabilize the military situation. Operation Highland. Operation Highland is still in its early stages, and the situation is fluid. Establishing and maintaining a military control of the solar system remains a key priority. This mission is to assault pre-planned targets in the Trellis Sector. Your package has been assigned to strike the first minefield, Minefield A. We have reports of several enemy starships in the vicinity. Also be advised that enemy fighters may be operating nearby. You have a mission to perform. Good luck, Henry Gate. Alright, let's do this. Let's shatter some stars. Should be almost there. There's our target. We have eliminated Minefield A, I believe. We're going to do some damage to Minefield B. So a bonus objective, and then we're going to go. Minefield A has been completely eliminated. We're going to have Minefield B, this cluster here. And I believe this is Minefield C, this other big cluster. Once we eliminate them, then we can move on and attack those frigates back there with our bombers. As we can 
see here, to the big unit of uh, allied. Let's see, where are those? Yeah, those are more fighters. They're probably going to attack minefield C. It looks like they're on that sort of approach. Head up this way. Let's see, who are these guys? Alright, more fighters. I guess they're going to patrol run. Maybe they're going to attack as well. Not really sure. Um, see, and then we've got the main fleet just sort of sitting back here, chilling out. Anyways, Ares Flight, us, we're going to return the ship, rearm and refuel, and we'll get some new orders. On that note, mission complete. Alright, I cut the last bit short. It was just a boring flight back where we landed. We are now mobilizing to engage another minefield. Oh, the Stalwart and Gerson are engaging the Udal. That's a ship battle going on somewhere. We'll get a view on it in a second after we launch. That's, that's the cool thing about this game. There's like tons of stuff happening even while you're completing your own missions and objectives. Alright, so let's see. Oh, the Udal is attacking us, I think. Looks like it's mobilizing. Here we go. Oh, I can't zoom in on him. But, uh... Here's the stalwart. This is the ship engaging it. He's going in to fight him. You know what, we might just break off from our current objective and go assist. I think we're going to do that because that sounds a lot more interesting. We get to see a little ship battle going on. Those little, the T and the numbers thing, those are missiles being shot from the stalwart. Shot at the Udell. Alright, see if we can get in closer. We can provide some support. Oh yeah, I think he I think he got a kill. Yeah, he took it down. Nice going, Stalwart. Alright then, well, we'll just continue with our original mission then. Let's fast travel to our next nav point. Oh, here we go, interceptors. Oh, that was a lot of interceptors. Two squads, oh, alright. You know what? Henry Gate doesn't fear some interceptors. Let's take him out. Nice. One down. Firing decoy. Great. And now my engines are damaged. It's not good. We gotta deal with these guys fast. Whoa! Crap, this guy's shooting at me. Oh, I'm out of missiles too, this isn't good. Ah, oh, man. I'm taking you with me. My sensors are all messed up. This isn't good. Alright, see if we can do some drifting here. Uh, that's not really working. Right. I got the other guy shooting at me. Ah, uh, I can't shake him. Gotta put some fire on this guy. Go down. I think I got him. There we go. Now let's finish this guy. Oh wow, he's just drifting here. <laughs> Alright, I'll put him out of his misery. That was a close one. Crap, we still got another guy flying around. Uh, Alright, let's take the risk. Taking him out. He ain't getting away from us. See, 
if we can even catch this guy. It's pretty far out. Nice one, hammer too. All right, that mission did not go as planned, so we're going to return the ship. Wow, my engines are so messed up right now. My buddy's outrunning me. All right, let's see how the battlefield looks. I'm thinking that all the mines around this sector here are gone, so we have access to the, um, the Farcasters now, which are, the Farcasters are basically like, uh, Stargates or Mass Relays, whatever you get the idea, they'll, tra they'll transport you somewhere else to, like, another system. So, uh, we're probably going to be making use of that soon. And what is this? Oh, it's an NPC station in the middle of the area. Which isn't really a threat to us. All right, and we're almost back. I cut it out last time, so I'll show you guys how to land in this. A lot of people have trouble landing in this game for some reason. I think it's because people um, are too impatient with the landing process. Uh, the hangar we just now passed, that's the launch hangar. The landing hangars are in the back. So, all right, I'm going to put time back at normal speed again. Uh, there's our landing course right there. So what you want to do first is bring your ship to a near complete stop. You can see right now I'm trying to do that. It's taking me a minute. I built up a lot of speed on the way over here. Uh, you can see it in the top right how it's going down. I have negative 300 right now. I need to get that at zero to come to a full stop. So I'm going to keep thrusting in the opposite direction I was moving in until I come to a stop. Let's speed that up. Very good. Now you want to get a little bit of momentum going so you can move forward. But not too much. And then you just accelerate at time so you can keep moving at that slow speed. But you'll be able to do it faster. Next, you want to bring down your landing gear by pressing the G button. Now, once you're lined up, you want to start to slow down a little bit. I think this here is about good enough speed where I'm at. I'm at 134 meters per second. It might be a little bit too fast. You might not want to risk it at this much speed. You may want to slow down if you're not experienced at this game. But uh, at this point, you just want to drift. I'm going to speed up time a little bit. Uh, drift on in. And aim for that little X right there. Do not move once you're in the hangar. You can still move while you're in this landing cutscene, and that can make you crash. So do not touch anything while this small little cutscene is playing. You can see it, we successfully landed, and that's a mission complete. You are in officer's country now. Based on your new rank, you have authorization to undertake all fighter missions assigned to your unit. You will be expected to serve force with courage, honor, and commitment at all times. Alright, so basically we just got promoted now to Ensign. I believe that will allow us to transfer if we want to. So we're going to look at the Forces tab. We are the 3rd Fleet Archon. We have a Carrier Battle Group Archon, which is what I'm in. And we have the 60th Destroyer Squadron, Garand. They do not have a carrier. Yeah, our only carrier is the Archon itself, which I'm already assigned to. I believe I could switch to a different carrier. That's what the, my promotion lets me do. I could switch to a new um, unit, but there aren't really any units to transfer to. Let's see, we've got a bunch of different... Oh no, here we go. We have different fighter wings th that I could transfer to if I wanted to. Um, I'm not going to bother with that right now, because it doesn't really matter. Really, what I want to do is I want to transfer it to a frigate or something. But we're going to stay for... We're going to stay a fighter pilot for a while, so let's get another mission going in a second. All right, here we are again. We are launching another assault on the minefield. Which, as we saw last flight, may not go according to plan. But we'll see how this turns out.
You'll notice this time, I believe I'm flying a different plane than I was before. Uh, there are several different types of fighters and such that you can choose from. You don't get any personal fighter that you can customize or anything, but uh, there's a lot of presets, and depending on your mission, you'll be assigned a different unit to fly. Uh, I like the uh, the Eagle, the heavy fighter that I was flying before. This one's a bit more agile, I believe. Um, but you'll see it in action now. We've got some hostiles to deal with. More interceptors. Alright, you deal with that one, I'll deal with this one. Whoa! This guy has my back gold. I love drifting in this game. It's so awesome. Alright, now let's get this guy. Is that the main fleet over there? Oh, this guy, these interceptors are close to our fleet. Alright, just drift past him. Just rake him up. Done. There's a gold too. There he is. Alright, let's see what we got to deal with. Yeah, there's the fleet right there behind us. Um, huh, okay, we're farther out than I thought. Look, we were right next to the fleet for a second. Alright, we're going to continue with the operation then. An attempted palace coup by Dantari agents was thwarted by alert members of the Provisional Security Directorate early this morning. Separatist agents working from a secret base near the capital offices succeeded in destroying the executive suite of the presidential palace. Security service members... Alright, so as we can see there, there is a, there actually is a story to this game. It's not very deep, it's mainly just my rebels, and then there's the other generic space Russians that come and try to fight you. And then there's a weird twist at the end of it with a third faction that comes in, but we'll get to them later. Um, the story really isn't it's not really worth anything. You can pretty much skip the cutscenes. I'm going to be skipping the cutscenes just to save up one space. Um, if you really, 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 for whatever reason, want to see the cutscenes, then spam me, and I guess I'll include them in later episodes. But for now, I'm just going to skip most of them. Tiger flight, move out. Anyway, this is one of the awesome things about space. We're just gonna sort of fly under all these mines. It's almost cheating because the AI doesn't even operate on the Z plan. They just operate as if this were like a normal airspace. So most of the time, you don't even have the AI doing what I'm doing right now. Feels kind of bad exploiting the game like that, but uh, oh well. Play to win. All right, so we've effectively flown under the minefield. And now we're gonna go attack the enemy fleet. Alright, got our target. Let's take it down. Nice. Alright, we're returning the base. 
has given official authorization for the commencement of humanitarian aid traffic to the inner planets. Certified non-governmental agencies delivering food, clothing, medicines and emergency equipment will receive protective escorts by warships from the Third Fleet. Although the blockade has been broken, there are still several hostile squadrons in operations near the outer worlds. We strongly recommend that only emergency traffic be routed through the Trolls sector. Civilian ships are advised to avoid the area until the threat can be assessed. Alright, as you can see, our efforts here have actually unlocked some new stuff for us to do. We are advancing in the sector. Um, that's all for now. We'll pick up where we left off later. See you next time.